The legal position is lines need to be translocated to Kuno. If translocation has to succeed, significant geographical separation between the Gheel population and the second population has to take place and that will not happen in Burda. Having all your eggs in one basket is never a good idea because irrespective of the number of eggs, if the basket drops, the majority, if not all the eggs are going to uh, be broken. It's like taking life insurance and this is something I've been saying repeatedly like a parrot that we take medical life insurance not expecting to get injured or get killed, but it's a risk mitigation strategy. The legal situation is that the Supreme Court gave its decision on 15th of April 2013. It asked its decision judgment to be implemented in a letter and spirit within six months. Since nothing much happened over the years, a public spirited citizen went and filed a contempt petition. That took its time to go through the courts and the final hearing of that matter was in March of 2018 where the Supreme Court basically took up the word of the government saying that they will hold meetings to make it happen. But as we all know, nothing much happened and unfortunately, subsequently in September and October, we had the spate of deaths of lions. Yeah. Vaccination and inoculation, all of that really should be done with domestic animals, which are interacting with wildlife. With more than 50% of the wild lions in outside protected area interacting with domestic animals. That is an important step where domestic animals are protected from the disease so that they don't become the source of infection for wildlife. See, so canine distemper virus is prevalent in India. It doesn't suddenly come. This, the risk is when it starts killing animals. There's no way of predicting whether it will come or not. But the fact that it's always prevalent in the environment means it's always at risk. Now looking at other things like the high-tech uh, drone intervention and the electric fence intervention, they're talking of a thousand kilometers of fence. I really don't know why we need to be spending so much money. All of this money is probably better invested in getting social benefits to the local people who actually are living with these animals. That would be a far better investment for long-term conservation. Lions have been interacting with people for a very, very long time, both within the protected area as well as outside the protected area. So lions and people interacting is not something new. But uh, hats off to the local community, which has largely been tolerant so far. And for this tolerance and acceptance of the lions in their lives to continue, it requires active support, both from the government and from the civil society to appreciate what they are doing and not constantly believe that each time a lion is seen outside a park, it needs to be caught and taken back because that's not a solution that's going to uh, any way work because the number of lions outside the park uh, is now in numbering 200 or more.